Okay, let's go through the answers um, to these questions. Remember here that the top line, the mass numbers, and the bottom line, the atomic numbers, have to add up across the arrow. You can kind of treat the arrow as an equal sign. So starting off with the bottom rule, which we can deal with first of all, is 92 equals 90 plus something. Well, that means this must be 2. And the only thing this can be if that's 2, the only type of radiation, it can't be beta or gamma, it has to be alpha. And we know it contains two protons and two neutrons, so it has a mass number 4. If you learn off what alpha is, it makes this easier. Then we have 235 equals something plus 4. And that would be 231. I mean, you can do that in about 10 seconds, and it's worth four marks in an examination because you get marks for each of those um, blanks that you've filled in. Okay, next one, americium then. It tells you that it's emitting an alpha particle, so we know that this needs to be 2,4. Like I said, you need to learn that off. Then we can just add it up across the um, arrows. So 95 equals 93 plus 2. And... 237 equals, well, sorry, 241 equals 237 plus 4, um, which means because the atomic number is 93, this has to be, I think it's Neptunium, is it, that's pronounced. Um, next one, carbon 13, different isotope than the one we looked at in the example. Um, 6 equals 7 minus 1, which means this has to be beta. Don't be too confused. Sometimes I might put an E there because beta is an electron, but I tend to use the Greek symbols. Um, we know that beta has a mass number zero, therefore 13 equals something plus zero. That has to be 13, okay, so different isotope of nitrogen. Next one, look at the top line. So we have 226, changes in the sum of 222, which means this is four, which means this has to be alpha, which means that's two, which means this has to be 86. These do get quite easy, but it's just addition and subtraction, really, once you've got a bit of practice. Um, 90 equals 90 plus something that has to be zero now we have two possibilities here this could be beta or this could be gamma but in fact actually it has to be beta how we know that is this changes um is that strontium i'm not sure um sr changes into yttrium why here this can't be 38 because if this was 38 this would have to be sr Okay, because everything that has an atomic number of 38 has to have the same symbol. Therefore, because we know the element has changed, we know it can't be gamma. Okay, therefore, because the element has changed, it must be beta. This is minus 1. And then be very careful because the number of people that will put down 37 there in an exam is huge. 38 equals 39 minus 1. It's a common mistake with beta. If it's beta, make sure you take your time over it. Okay, next one, we're told that it emits beta. So this is zero, this is minus one, which means this must be um, 90, which means this bottom number 40 minus one is 39. We should know that anyway, because it's yttrium from above, it must have the same atomic number. The mass numbers can be different because there's different isotopes but the um, atomic number is the same for each element. Um, next one, if we notice, we're not given a lot here, but what we are told is this element doesn't change. Okay, is that barium maybe? Um, it stays as that. And therefore, if it stays as that, it must have the same atomic number. Therefore, this is zero. Um, and if that's zero, it has to be gamma, which means this up here is also zero. So this is 137. And all that's happened is this has gone from a high energy nucleus to a lower one.